Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we're dealing with subtracting rational expressions. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, in this video, we're going to focus particularly on subtracting rational expressions that have the same denominator. Uh, in other words, the, 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 the bottom number of, the, exp of, the, ra of the, ration, the rational expression, or you can say the fraction, are the same for the two quantities, if you will. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about here, we're going to have this problem right here. 4x squared minus 11x plus 8 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. And we're going to subtract that from 3x squared plus x minus 3. And so underneath that is going to be x squared minus 3x plus 2. So this is what we have. And you can see here clearly we have the same denominator. So the first thing we want to do is we want to combine like pairs. So let me see if I can make that clear here. Combine like pairs. So we're going to do with the 4x minus 3x. That will give us x squared. Next we'll deal with negative 11x minus positive x well let's see here that's going to give us minus 12x like so and then 8 excuse me 8 minus subtract minus minus 3 is going to be the same as 8 plus 3 and so we're going to end up with positive 11 so all this over x squared minus 3x plus 2. So you can see here we're making good progress. Now, <clears throat> now that we've combined like terms, we now need to factor things because as we factor the different values, we might be able to cross off or to eliminate like pairs through simplification, if you will. So I'm going to start, let's see here, with the uh, top value. Yes, the top value. So here's how it's going to work. Um, using the AC method, I need something where when I multiply A and C, so this is my A term, my, my A dot C is going to be basically, X squared is like 1X squared. So 1X times 11 is going to be 11. And then when I add A and C together, it needs to equal negative 12, like that. That's what we're trying to do. And so as I look at this again, uh, what pops out to me is if I take this, if I have negative 1 and the number negative 11, it should work because negative 1 times negative 11 will give me 11 and negative 1 plus negative 11 is going to be negative 12. So for this top, for the numerator, this is what we're going to have right now for just a, a brief moment. x squared minus x minus 11x plus 11. And so when you um, combine like terms, so over here I'll put the negative 11 on the outside. Then I'll have x on the inside, uh, minus 1 for that one. And then factoring this one, I'll put an x on the outside. I have a, let's see here, x inside and a minus 1 right there. And so my new top numerator, if you will, is going to be x minus 1 and then uh, x minus 11. That's what we have there. All right, so we're going to uh, have to move to a new slide here. Oh, excuse me, let me close that off first. So let's see here. I got x minus 1, x minus 11, and then underneath that I have the following, x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now I need to address the, um, what do you call it? I need to address the denominator. That's this guy right here. And so I apply the same method. My favorite method is the AC method. And so we have here, when we do A dot C, so X, so one times two, it's gonna give me two. A plus C should equal negative three. So <clears throat> again, for this particular situation, we're gonna use the following negative 1 and negative 2 because negative 1 times negative 2 will give me positive 2 and negative 1 plus negative 2 will give me negative 3. 
So when I break that apart, this uh, polynomial right here, I get the following. x squared minus x minus 2x plus 2. And now we just group them. We've done this before, so I'm going to go ahead and group this. We've, we've seen this. So uh, let's see here. I put the negative 2 on the outside. I have x on the inside. And of course, I have negative 1 again because negative 2 times x is going to give me negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 1 will give me positive 2. Over here, for this second grouping right here, I'll put an x on the outside, and then we'll have x here minus 1 again, like so. And so um, if I had to finally make up my new um, rational expression, it would be as follows. So let me go ahead and uh, make this a little bit different. So it'd be x minus 1, oh, excuse me, x minus 1, x minus 11, and then in the denominator we have this over here. So it's going to be x minus 1, x minus 2, like so. And then you could probably see what we're going to have to eliminate right here. Okay, so um, let me just go ahead and do this right here. So x minus 1 x minus 11 and then on the bottom you have x minus 1 and then x minus 2. All right so you can see what's clear here is that we have an x minus 1 on the top and the bottom so we can eliminate that and that leads us to the following answer. Our answer is going to be x minus 11 over x minus 2 and we're essentially done right there. So let me go back and explain what we did here to try to make it clear and walk you through the steps one more time. So we started with the problem up at the top. You can see here 4x squared minus 11x plus 8 over x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus 3x squared plus x minus 3 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now the first thing you will notice is that they have the same denominator. <clears throat> so all you have to do is you have to combine like terms in the numerator. That led us to the, to the simplified version, if you will, here. x squared minus 12x plus 11 over the same denominator. Now, the next thing we did after that was that we had to group. We did grouping to try to find the factors for the polynomials. So we dealt with the numerator first using the AC method. We've done this several times in videos in the past. And through all the numerous calculations, we found out that this value right here is going to be for our numerator. All right, and so after we did that, we repeated the process for the denominator. So you can see right here, x squared minus 3x plus 2. We repeated the AC method for the, for the denominator, and we got the following value here, x minus 1, x minus 2. So this was almost done. And the last thing we had to do was we had to eliminate like terms. So we have an x minus 1 in the, in the numerator, x minus 1 in the, the denominator. We're able to remove those. And we are left with the final value x minus 11 over x minus 2. And this is our answer. And so this was an example of how to do, use subtraction for rational expressions when you have the same denominator. So I hope this video was useful for you and you were able to understand what was going on and how things worked out. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.